Hey guys, it's Mike from New Development, and I know this is just going to be a three-part series, but the video started to get long last time, so we're going to finish it up in this fourth video, hopefully, since we only have, um, I think, the button-click listener to uh, set up, and we should be done. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, we'll go right here under the, the move result method, and we are just going to <coughs> set up our button-click listener. So if we'll look here, we'll do a private class button click listener uh, implements u dot um, on click listener okay and what we'll do here is uh, we're going to make a local variable a local integer called location and then let's go ahead and put the constructor in public button click listener and we're going to if you remember, we're passing in uh, a parameter here. If we go up to right here, so every button that we put in our button, game buttons array, we're attaching a button click listener and passing in the index of that button as a parameter. So as you see here, we're going to capture that, and we're going to take this dot location, which is the local variable location, set it equal to the location that's being passed in. So this integer here is going to be stored inside our local integer here. Alright, so let's go ahead and do public void click view view. Okay, so now uh, when we actually click on the button, what's going to happen? Well, first thing is we need to make sure the game's not over. So, because if the game's over, we don't want nothing to happen when I click on the button. So, if game over, so if the game is over, then or if the game is not over, sorry, we're gonna perform a few things here. The first thing is we need to see if there is initial piece selected. So let's say you know you click on the piece at one, which is start out to be red, you click on this one, you want to move to four. We need to see if there's a piece selected so we know if you're trying to move or if you're trying to select an initial piece, you know, to decide where to move it. So we'll do that here. Alright, so it would be if piece is not selected. Okay. And so there's only two ways. It's either if the piece is selected or else if there is a piece selected. Okay. So let's go ahead and fill out the first one here. So if a piece is not selected yet, you can see if whose turn it is. So if it's red's turn and the whatever button is at that location in the array get their tag and if it is red we know that red can use this uh, button because their game piece is in it so we know by the tag if it's red or blue or blank so if it's a red piece and it's the red's turn I don't need that semicolon there we know that they can move so we do game buttons location dot set background drawable Get resources. Drawable. Drawable. Dot. Red selected. Okay. And oh, not that background. So anyway, set background drawable. Okay, so we set that to red selected, which is the red circle with the yellow uh, border around it to show that it's the one being selected. We're going to set the start location equal to the location. So whatever that index was, it was passed in. And then we're going to set P selected equal to true. Okay, so we need to copy this. And then go below it and paste it. And we need to set it up for blue. So it will be, if it's not red's turn, and the tag is blue, we'll need to change this to blue selected and the rest of it will stay the same okay so that takes care of if there's not a piece selected so if there's not a piece selected we'll be able to select one now but if the game is not over and there is a piece selected what do we need to do we need to make sure that they're trying to move so if they already got a piece selected and they're pushing they're going to be pushing where they want the uh, what button they want to move the piece into so that 
that actually has to be a blank spot. It can't have any other um, any other pieces in it currently. So we do if game buttons at that location. Check the tag. See if it equals the blank. Okay. So if it is a blank spot they're trying to move into, then we need to make sure that they can actually move to it. We don't want them to be able to jump all the way across the board. They have to be able to only move to the specific uh, places that are adjacent to them. So to do that, we're just going to do a switch statement with start location. Okay. So we're going to do a total of nine of these. So let's just do K0 break. Let's go ahead and copy and paste these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I might need one more, we'll see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep. Okay. And eight. Alright, so let's look at how we're gonna do this logic here. So if they're at zero, which is here, so if they've clicked the button and they're trying to move into zero. What we need to make sure of is um, we need to make sure that they can move to either one, three, or four only if it's a blank spot. Okay, so the valid moves are so location valid move was one, so you do one or if location is equal to three or location is equal equal to four so if that's true what has to happen okay so if we look at this again just real quick to make sure everybody understands what we're doing alright so their starting location so the button that they clicked on is at zero okay where are they trying because I think I explained it maybe I explained it wrong the first time so start location is zero so they clicked on this button the only places that they can click on now to move would be one, three, and four. So we've done that here. If the location that they're clicking on now is one, three, or four, we need to just make sure, and we know that it's blank, we need to go ahead and decide whose turn it is and put that piece in there. So if it's red turn, and game buttons, start location, get tag, equals red. Make sure that for some reason the tag's not blue. So if it's red turn and the initial button when was pressed was red, we'll go ahead and set the move to red, start location and location. Okay. And after we set the move we need to check the move result. which is what we set those up in the previous video. So we're going to go ahead and set the move and then check and see if somebody won. And if they did or did not, then we'll go from there. So that's if it's red. Let's go ahead and copy this and paste it. If it's not red's turn, blue, then we'll change this to blue. Okay. So now that's got that, and we'll go into the break here. So what we got to do now is we can just copy this if statement and all this down to the break there, and we'll just paste it in here. So I like this. Tab it over. All right. So all right. So they've clicked on the button at one. Where can they move? They can move to zero, two, three, four, and five. You know, if they're blank, which we already checked for. So, zero, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so if that's true. Alright, so this one's got a few more locations in it, so let's copy this one. Alright, we'll go into two here. Okay. So, if we pull this up again. If they've clicked on a button in two, they can move to one, four, and five. So one and four and five is there. So you can do one, four, and five. All right. So.
So let's go to case three. Alright, so if they have clicked on something in three, they can go to zero, one, four, six, and seven. Zero, one, four, six, and seven. Alright. If it's four. Alright, so if it's four, they can pretty much go anywhere on the board that's blank, except for in their own spot. So, zero, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Alright. So, set that up. Zero, whoops. Zero, one, two, three, five, six, seven, or eight. Alright. So now if it, they start at five. They start at five, they can go to one, two, four, seven, and eight. One, two, four, seven, eight. Alright. So if it's six, they can go to three, four, and seven. So they can go to three, four, and seven. So if it's seven, if it's seven, they can go to three, four, five, six, and eight. So three, four, five, six, and eight. And if it is eight, they can go to four, five, and seven. So we only need three. With the top two, they can go to four, five, and seven. I believe is what we said. Make sure four, five, and seven. Yep. Okay, so that's got that, and that's all we need to do for that. And I think that was the final thing we needed to do in our game. So let's give it a try just to make sure that we didn't forget anything. So let's go ahead and save all. And we will click run. Use the emulator. Okay. Alright, so it's Red's turn. Click a button, click over. It says Red wins, which is not true, so we've done something wrong in our logic. So let's go find out what we did wrong. Let's look at our move result first here. So let's open up our gameboard.java file. And we need to make sure everything is correct in there. I probably just left the red or something in it. I'll check for win. Blue, blue, blue. Red, 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 blue, 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 okay, so, this is wrong, this should be red, 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 okay, so vertical wins right here, so something has probably went wrong, so let's see. So maybe that right there was oh, okay. The bottom row was full of red pieces. That was what was causing the problem. As soon as we moved, 
where these were blue, the bottom row is always blue, so it was going to say it. Okay. So let's try that again. Sorry about that. Look for emulator, so we'll you need to change that in your code. All right, so let's see. Red's turn. Click and move. Blue's turn. Click and move. Red's turn. Blue's turn. We'll try to get it red to win. Like that. Red wins. Try our new game out. All right, blue goes first this time. Try to get a diagonal win here. Right, the diagonal works. And now let's try to just uh, move our pieces. Oh, well, it works in the center too, I guess. Now let's try to move our pieces across the board. Well, if I could not win there. Alright, let's try some more time. Okay. It's pretty bad when you can't get three dots across the board without messing up. Just about did it again. Alright, so blue ones. So if you get them across the board, they'll win now. Alright, so everything appears to be working. Um, so sorry for the hiccup there in the uh, the logic that was checking the pieces. Um, sorry, I tried to go back and change that and all, but everything seems to be working. And hopefully, this is something what you was looking for because I know you wanted. I think you wanted something similar to the the tic tac toe game. So this kind of breaks off of that code, keeps it kind of similar to that. Um, just let me know uh, on the forums or comment or or however you want to do it. Let me know if that was actually this was helpful and what you was looking for. And if anybody else needs any help on anything, just uh, let me know. Make sure you guys go to the website and become part of the community and, and start posting on the forums and stuff. And I will talk to you there. Thanks.